A family travel trailer with double over double bunk, super slide with a sofa having a great angle to the TV, plus you have a big closet right as soon as you walk in, and another one in the bedroom, folks. This right here is the 2021 Keystone Springdale 295BH. All right, folks, let's talk about some of the things that make this one unique. As I just mentioned, I like this one because it has some unique storage space. As soon as you walk in, boom, you open this up, you have a coat closet. This is a big one for me. Uh, a lot of manufacturers struggle to try to fit this into a floor plan, and I understand why. But with this layout, they were able to do it. You walk in, you have a spot to hang up your jacket, your sweatshirts. You can, and more importantly for me, you have shoe storage down below, right? So that way, all of your jackets, shoes, everything else is out of the way. Plus, it's tall enough. If you want to put a broom in there, you want to put a vacuum in there, you have plenty of space to do that. Now, on this wall is that entertainment center. You'll see that they kind of have a uh, like a designer wall board there, you know, which gives it a great look. That is, again, has a great angle over to the sofa, over to the super slide. So, they're sitting here in the sofa or in the dinette, you'll still have a great shot to it. Plus, you can see these bad boys, right? So, you know that right down under here is your multimedia center, and that one is a DVD player. So, you can throw a DVD in there, be able to watch a movie straight out of the gate. Uh, you'll also see the speakers on the sides so that we have some better sound quality and a nice big fireplace underneath, which, folks, the fireplace not only looks great, because I think it absolutely does, I think it adds a lot uh, to an RV, but more importantly is the fact that is a space heater. It does help provide heat. And if you're at a campsite and you don't have to pay for electric, that is free heat. Let's move into the kitchen a second. Upgraded countertops, right? They got rid of the T-mold where it starts popping off along the side. And that also allows them to undermount the sink. Now, let me know what you think about the sink here, right? I, I, I don't know that I'm completely sold. They went with a black sink. But it's a composite, but it is black. Now, uh, I haven't had much experience with it. It's brand new to the industry, so I don't know, you know, as far as scratch resistance. I mean, it seems like it would be pretty good. Maybe it'll hide, you know, some of the... Uh, the dirt, you know, the dirty look that composite sinks tend to get over time, right? Because the plastic, you know, after a while, or composite will sometimes like soak up some of those like red sauces and stuff, and then it just they don't come perfectly clean. They kind of get like almost a brown tint to it. So maybe it'll be better, right? I'll, I'm very curious. Let me know what you think. I think it's one of those things where we're just going to have to give it some time and see, you know, what some of these sinks look like in four or five years. Because I guarantee that even though this is the first uh, RV that I've seen it in, I'm going to guess that Springdale's not the only one that's going to use it. You'll also see it does come with a drying rack. This I do enjoy uh, just because you can kind of use it as prep space and also for its intended purpose, the drying rack. So it's kind of double use. And then over to the side, you still have a sink. Nice high rise faucet. I do love the look of that faucet. Uh, if we take a look in the back, you'll see that window stretching all the way across, something that um, I, more and more RV manufacturers are doing this year, right? For 2021, this seems to be the hot button. It's in the kitchen, you have a long window. Uh, everyone seems to be going to it, so rather than having a backsplash behind the cooktop, they went with window to just let in more natural light. Now, right up top, you have some storage, pretty standard stuff, oil rub bronze pulls on there. I do like having a pull rather than a knob. Um, you know, it's just easier to grip onto, plus I think it looks nicer, personal opinion. You'll also see microwave over to this side, hood right down below. This, this right here is something new as well. Um, I, I haven't tested it and I haven't talked to the manufacturer, but I'm going to guess this right here is magnetic for your knives. And then you will also see you have a spot to hang, uh, you know, spoons or other uh, utensils. So I do like that. I think that's a nice addition. Right down underneath that, your three burner cooktop recessed. Of course, you can use that as prep space. You see the knobs right up front here, the gray stone. The knobs do light up if you're into that. Oven underneath for some lightweight baking. Nothing crazy. You're not going to do a Thanksgiving turkey in there. But, you know, if you have a casserole pie, cupcakes, you'll be just fine. Right up there, you will see a space for a small trash can. You know, it's not going to be anything too wide because you kind of have a triangle shape there. But you can fit a smaller one in there if you so choose. There is probably a better spot for one. I'll show you in just a second here. Uh, full extension ball bearing drawers. So you have a spot for your flatware. Now, normally I like to have two drawers. I always say you have to have at least one, which they have. But seeing as how they have, you know, the knife rack and the utensil holder up top, you'll probably be just fine with the one. But coming around to the side in case you do need some other space, which, you know, maybe for hand towels, things like that, right, for your kitchen, uh, you have space for it there. And I talked about a better sp spot for a trash can. You can definitely fit a larger one there. It's not quite as convenient as far as, you know, working in the kitchen and having a spot to put things, 
but maybe you have two, right? Maybe you have a primary trash can here, secondary one right over here, so that way if you are cooking, you can just toss it in. Um, I know it's three steps, but when we're talking about you know, kitchen functionality, I want my trash can as close as I can to anything I'm cutting up. Moving a little bit further in, you get your Everchill fridge freezers. This is a 12 volt compressor driven fridge. Plenty of space in here. I believe these ones are 10 cubic feet. So uh, excellent space in there for cold storage. Next to that, we'll open this guy up and you see big, huge storage spaces. Now, me personally, you know, and again, this is just a personal opinion. I would have liked to have seen uh, some adjustable shelves in here with the rod across the top. Some other manufacturers do something very similar and I would have preferred to have uh, that flexibility. So that way, if I wanted to hang clothes, I can. And you can probably, yeah, I don't know if I put a tension rod in there. That might be a little much on that panel, but it is a big storage space. So if you do have uh, you know, folded clothes, you can definitely fit a ton of folded clothes in there, or obviously it makes for a big pantry. Now, in the back are your double over double bunks, 300 pound weight capacity. You see you have the privacy curtain top and bottom, USB ports top and bottom there as well, and you have additional storage underneath. And again, it's a great spot, put duffel bags, or if you have dirty clothes or anything that's a little bit larger that you just kind of want to tuck away, that's a pretty good spot for it. Making more way to the back. We'll walk into the bathroom. And honestly, folks, this is a pretty good sized bathroom. Um, all things considered, right? A lot of times, like this will be kind of angled and it, it closes it off, but you have all this extra space right here. And as far as toilet space, I mean, I have more than enough, right? Good leg space, great shoulder space here. Sink over to the side. You have a mirrored medicine cabinet. Uh, it's not framed out or anything, but it is still functional. And then if we take a step in the shower, just to give you an idea here, I'm six foot tall, especially with that barreled ceiling. I mean, you know, if I'm kind of more toward the uh, this side of that shower, I have more than enough room. Even without it, though, I'm still good. Uh, so as far as shower space, no issues there. Making our way back out, let's take a look at our slide. So as I mentioned, this one is a super slide, the dinette. One of the things I do like that they've done is the table setup. There's a bunch of different types of dinette tables you can get. The thing I like about this one is you can actually remove it and it swings down. So what you can do is you can take it, put it in front of the sofa, and it'll swing down into a coffee table. So that way you get some, uh, some different use out of it, right? It doesn't just have to be a dinette table. You, it kind of, as I said, it can be like a secondary dinette ta or, uh, coffee table, or you can just fold it up and take it outside if you want. I mean, you know, that option is up to you. You also see some um, auxiliary lighting, I guess, underneath the dinette, which I think looks pretty nice. Plus, you have more right up here behind the fascia of the slide. So it just kind of helps brighten things up, right? Um, you know, and, and again, I think it's a nice aesthetic piece. And at this price point, uh, I really think the changes that Springdale made this year are, are phenomenal. You know, the, the extra lighting, they brightened everything up. They added that bigger window. Um, I think they definitely did some good things for the, the late 2021 model year to, to again, kind of spice things up, brighten it up, and make it feel a little more clean and luxurious than some of the past have, and a little bit darker if you're a little bit more closed in. Right over to the side is your sofa. So this one right here is a jackknife sofa. Big advantage of that is all the storage you get underneath. Excellent storage underneath a jackknife. Now, if you come into the bedroom with me, you will see some different things in here. One, TV. If you wanna uh, mount a TV in the bedroom, that is where it will go. So there is a bracket for it, um, or rather a backer for it, I should say. And then they change this too, across the top. You don't have a single shelf, you have a double, which I think is a pretty good idea. You know, a lot of manufacturers just have one, you have all this additional headspace. I mean, I don't know about you folks watching, but pretty much never do I sit straight up in bed, right? So the chances of me hitting this shelf are like zero. I just, I just don't do it. I kind of slide out or roll over to the side and get out. So I would definitely rather take the additional storage there, but let me know. Maybe you're someone that gets scared at night. You hop up every night. What is that noise? I don't know, but let me know what you think about the shelf. Again, I think it's, uh, I think it's a win. You'll see hanging wardrobe space on both sides, mirrored wardrobe there as well. Plenty of space on your nightstands, plus electrical outlets. And if you take a look right over here, this is actually an additional wardrobe. There is a hanging rod in here. So not only do you have the side wardrobes, but you get this one as well. And I think that is really cool. Again, I think they did a great job with the floor plan where you have you know, kind of that coat closet on the other side. You have clothes storage in here. They really took a floor plan that a lot of other manufacturers had, put their own spin on it, and gave you a ton of interior storage. So with the slide closed up, uh, this one is a little bit tricky. Um, as you can see, kind of up front, it pretty much blocks off the bedroom. So as far as naps, 
probably not going to happen. If you have to get to the bathroom or fridge, this right here is what you're going to be working with. Um, you know, I kind of had to do one of these, right? Like put my legs through kind of high step. Ah, it is doable, right? For, for some people, it is doable. Definitely not going to work for everyone. But if you can make it happen, if you are able to squeeze through, you will notice that you have nearly full access to the fridge, plenty of room to be able to get in there. And all the way to the back here, the bathroom door completely swings open too, so you can access the bathroom. So if you're able to do a little dance, hop over the countertop, this one will work for you with the slide closed. All right, with the slide all closed up, let's take a look at the outside of the 2021 Keystone Springdale 295BH. This unit does come with a power tongue jack as a standard, making it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle, as well as two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. And as you can see right behind that is, uh, or rather are your batteries for so, or batteries, uh, battery rails, so you have a place to put your batteries. What I wanted to say, what I, my brain kept trying to say is right back there is solar prep. So uh, if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, you're good to go, it'll trickle charge your battery. Another cool thing about the Springdale product is this one does have the smooth aluminum on the front, which not only looks nicer, but also makes it easier to clean. Coming around to the side, pretty standard here as far as um, your catch, you know, just a standard catch, nothing too fancy, right? Saving you a little bit of money. If you take a look inside though, you will see that this one has good pass-through storage space. I can certainly appreciate that. It's nice and wide for some of those wider chairs and other large items. You also see this one has power stabilizer jacks, right? They're putting the money on the things that make camping easy. Power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, power awning. And that's a big power awning, folks. Take a look at the size of that thing. LED light strip all the way underneath. You can see your speakers right there too. The speakers light up, everything looks nice at night. You have the LCI solid step. So just as the name implies, it is very solid. I mean, I'm over 200 pounds, I can hop up and down on this thing. Nice large grab handle as well. So from that very first step, you have great control. If you want a TV outside, the bracket is already here. And the cool thing about it is it's the same bracket as the one inside. So you can literally take your TV from inside, bring it out, drop it right in. You have your cable outlet, your electrical outlet, plug it in, you are good to go. Uh, I, I honestly really do like that feature. So that way you don't have to kind of lug around a second TV, right? And try to find a place to put it. If you're spending time outside and you want the TV outside, you can bring it on out. You also see it over here. You have plenty of storage in this outside kitchen, couple of uh, USB ports there, your uh, burner, your two burner cooktop, as well as the outside fridge. Now, there will be a propane quick connect underneath, which is of course meant for that burner, but if you have a grill or something like that, plug it in right there, you are good to go. Coming around to the back side, you'll have the square tubular bumper right here with the end caps. You'll also see attached to that is your spare tire, making it very easy to access. One of the things a little bit tougher to see, but this one does have an enclosed underbelly. Uh, so that way it'll help keep out a lot of dirt, keep things a little bit toastier in some colder climates. Over on the other side is a spray port. If you want water outside, right? Your kitchen is right around the corner. Right there will be your water hookup. And if you take a look up top, you also see this one has a backup camera prep. Now, if we come to the off camp side, Couple quick things over here. Cable inlet will be located right up top there. Outside a shower with hot and cold water access. This one does have a black tank flush, which is a great feature. 30 amp power cord will plug right into there. Uh, and then right underneath that, it's actually some, might have been 50 amp, is that 50? Let me take a look here, folks. That is a 50. All right, so this one probably, uh, yeah, you have the fireplace, but I believe this one also has second AC prep in here. I forgot to check when I was inside, but I am gonna guess, seeing as how you have 50 amp, that is more than likely the case. And then right down underneath, you will see your termination as well as your valves. Located up front, right up by the pass-through, are both of your water hookups, both for city water uh, as well as fresh tank fill. And folks, that wraps it up. Again, this right here is a phenomenal family RV. If you're interested and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.